Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. Oh damn, Yuri died. Yes. Just put an end to it, yeah. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... The fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. What the hell? That's not good. Wait, somebody's ringing that. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. Nice On call. a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Let's on there. Someone's up there. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? <sighs> Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Everybody, run! Hey, where's Clementine? No! More oh, do I oh, don't like that guy. Oh no 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 no! Please don't die. No, don't die. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? He needs help, dude. Help the old man kill the kids. No, no, don't leave him, don't leave him! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Let me see if I can find us a way in. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Oh. Every day's a school day. Dude, there's, there's a kennel over there. Clementine, go away. You don't want to see this. <sighs> Can't get it off. Give it, a, give it a pull. His head will come off. There it goes. Okay, that is not oh, cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're- I said I'm fine, okay? Wait, she's not pregnant, is she? Ain't that her brother? I'm pretty sure that's her brother. Yes! God damn! Here we go. Clementine, get in the hole. Go on, Clementine, that's it. Clem, what do you see in there? No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, wait, it's not his sister. My bad, my bad. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, 
and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right, but whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Wink. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Excuse me? Doink. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Excuse me? I said freaking yoink. Probably. Not exactly my style. I don't think that's anyone's style. Oh, wait. Isn't that, aren't they chopping the guy's head off? That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Nah, he's dead. Lee? Uh oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Wait, is that a baby? Kenny, you okay, man? Did I just see a baby's arm? What? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, it was just a zombie. It's fine. Hey, Kenny, it looks like your kid. Kind of looks like Duck, don't he? Yep. It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. It gets easier, mate. Uh, the, the more you do it, you do it, you do it. You got this. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. Come on, Kenny, do it. Come to the dark side, Kenny. Do it. Do it. Pull the trigger. You murderer, Kenny. Can't believe you pulled the trigger. Oh, fuck. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ, we got to sell our heart palpitations. Hey, what the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my God. There's gotta be a boat. Actually, that one might work. This one might still be salvageable. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. <laughs> What the hell is that? All of dead people. A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Right, a new boat, a new boat. Aha! Uh -huh. No sign of any boats down there. Trust me, there's going to be a boat. Plenty of docks, no boats. Ah, there we go. No way that one's salvageable. That's gonna work, we'll be fine. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh, hold on, here we go. What the hell? Is that Glenn? He's freaking Spider-Man. 
Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We just want to talk. Don't shoot him. Oh, we're maybe, gonna talk. maybe maybe take out the kneecap. Do it quietly. Wait, what the? Where the hell did he go? Oh! Kenny! Kenny, help! No! Clementine? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Look at Kenny Clementine. Hi. <laughs> You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> Grandpa. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Great, just great. Time to run! Time to run! Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, she's gone. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. Quick, do this at puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Come on, make it fast. Kenny, don't drop me, man. Kenny! Man, every time, Kenny! You can't trust him. Come on! Please don't be zombie alligators. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Damn, the old man's dead. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. Oh, shit. Fucking... Every time, man. Let me go. Let me go. Ha! 
Did I dying down in some sewer? Find a better life. Oh no, I shouldn't have shot that. I should not have shot. Oh, damn it. Dude, go, go! There's something beyond that sign. What is that? No! Hell? All out shower. Hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. All out 76? We better yoink their food then. Look at all this. Dude, just munch. Munch. Fill yourself. Get fat. Uh oh. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? Don't. Don't come any closer or I'll shoot. Dude, he's going to do it. Look at them eyes. Come on. Let's just talk. Look at the him. eyes. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him. Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Hey, wait, is that your dad? Dude, that could You're be his really dad. Not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. Clementine? Clem? Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Wait, where's Clementine then? Dude, I've really got a bad feeling about this. I wonder if that guy, if he got the radio. Wait, do we still have the radio? Yeah, we do, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe that guy turned up again and has taken her. The hell? Wait. What the hell happened back here? Clementine. She's inside, right? Oh my god, Please. kid, you scared the crap out of me. I really oh, thought she was kidnapped. The boat. Don't you be looking at my new boat? What's taking Kenny so damn long? How hard can it be to look over a boat? It'll take as long as it takes, Lee. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? 
Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? How are we supposed to get that boat down to the dock? It's miles away. We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Good Surely work. we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Got it. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Triple double. Kid. Man, imagine bringing her. Come on. Let's go. This reminds me so much of, um... Of that season of Walking Dead where you had the governor and he had the town. Like, he turned out to be bad because he had his daughter as a zombie in like, a cage. What? Are you disappointed? It's just no. strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Yep, definitely governor Kenny, vibes. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Hey, I'm going. Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? The hell? Is there nobody here? Dude, there's nobody here. I wonder if they all got infected and that's it. That's the entire town. Everybody's been scared of nothing. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Dude, look at her giving the side eye. And thought you better and him. I got a bad feeling about this. No, I've got a bad feeling about you, scrub. Imagine if it turns out that he's Crawford, the old man, or her. Or the old man has been talking on the radio to Clementine. Because in the second episode, all them people started to be really nice with us, didn't they? And then they turned out to be cannibals. Yeah, it's him. And she's a cannibal lover. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. 
How do you know that? You've Just been caught. Makes sense, doesn't it? Ah, no, no, she's been caught. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Don't break your ankle, please. Okay, good. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Oh! The hell? Leave him! He's mine. Molly? Anger oh. issue question mark? That was personal, man. That was yeah, personal. The garage door's jammed. You Can't don't kick it. a zombie if it that's a dad. 100 percent that's a dad. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. That's probably not good. No shit! Nope. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. But grab it. Go. So now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Old man, Jump. you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Go and call him chicken again. Dude, that's not gonna be long. That's not gonna be holding that long. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Nice. Now we need some meds, right? Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Whoa, Jesus. Chip, Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, oh, you idiot, ben? dude. What you you freaking idiot. I just found it. That's the hatchet that keeps the, the zombies away. Oh. Like All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Oh, now. Don't do it now. I'm so sorry. Don't I'm do it so now! Sorry, Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Oh, you're an idiot. You've literally just ruined it for everyone. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal to kill him. at the motor in, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kenny, man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My then wife, go kill him! Child, Do it! Both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Ah, she gone! Right, everybody run, quickly! They're ripping their eyeballs! Now can we go? Damn right. 
Vernon, come on! Oh, shotgun. Nice. Lee, look! Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Oh, my bad. Oh, misclick, you know. Oh, sorry. Oh, like, it, it didn't, didn't shoot. It got, it got jammed. Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Oh my god, he's not dead. He's just hey. ugly. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an off. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me. To nah. Nah. Well, well, nah. Supplies. That's not happening. And a lot of us have had kids of our own. Nah, I don't care. It's not happening. Fallen, You're not going to let the girl go, a creepy old man. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? <sighs> Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God. Then? Oh! Damn it! Oh my god, he got bit. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't Sorry safe. Sorry to bite. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh no, God. man. No way. No, no fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really.
Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. What? And I was there for you for when your kid died, man. Guys. What the hell is this crap? See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me. Even Ben. Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. But yeah, you won't help find the kid. Man. Shoot him. Come Shoot on, him. guys. Let's go. Shoot him. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out one of these videos because you're probably going to enjoy that as well. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day.